Hi, uh, welcome to the channel Agri Addict and uh, I am Alok Mabera and I am dealing with the subject Agronomy. So here I have collected some books for ICISF Agronomy as uh, you are going to prepare the subject and if you are interested in the preparing for Agronomy GRF then you should prefer some important books and which will be uh, helpful to you to get a good rank and to get your desired college. Yes or no? So for a, a better preparation, you need a better strategy and also a good plan how to reach the peak level. For example, you are uh, going to this top of the hill. Okay, so you need plans. Okay, how to reach this peak? Okay, so for that you need good strategy. Okay, so uh, I believe that uh, preparing any exam is just like a trekking on the hills. Okay, so you should uh, prepare your plan and strategy. What are the books you are going to read? So many of the students are in the mirage. Okay, they don't know what to read. Okay, so for that reason, I have collected some books to help, uh, which will be helpful for you to uh, make your preparation very easy okay so let's get started and before that if you have new to this channel and you have not subscribed to our channel then please subscribe to our channel okay it will be very helpful for you in all the views okay let's get started so first i will recommend you that any materials okay why i will recommend this to you because in my personal experience what I felt that is the importance of these materials is huge. Okay, they have collected uh, many more resources. Okay, from the many more resources, good, good and concise materials. Okay, and uh, they have collected. Uh, they have reviewed many books and also they have collected from the many. Uh, you can't uh, reach to those books, so they have collected from those books and which will be helpful for you for your preparation. Okay, so for example, in agronomy part, okay, you should read all the chapters, all the chapters, okay, all the chapters you should read in detail, okay. Also, you should read the soil science and agriculture chemistry part for agronomy, okay, because in agronomy, soil science is a sister subject, okay, you should give that much importance, that much you are giving to the agronomy, okay, because uh, most of the questions also come from the soil science, so you should give more preference to that as well okay so if you will see okay in this uh, our whole three year courses are enlisted okay pathology plant brain genetics economics statistics everything is there so what i believe is if you are going to give an exam you should be more strong in your basics okay so for basics for the clearance of basics you should prefer this website okay just you go to the google and type development of e-courses for bs agriculture okay you will get these courses okay also uh, you should go the tnu agritech portal okay agritech portal you should visit okay because there there are many technologies are developed which is used to come in the exam for example this time in this year one question came like what is the water requirement for paddy nursery paddy nursery i i didn't come across in any books this question okay but in tnu agri portal it is clearly mentioned that for paddy nursery around 40 mm of water is required for puddling 200 mm of water is required Many of the students uh, has done the mistakes. They have chosen the 200 mm, okay, by thinking that this is the water requirement for paddy nursery. No, paddy nursery water requirement different than the puddling, okay. Paddy nursery comes first, then puddling comes, okay. So for you know, you see the crispness of giving the data to you that will that you will get from this courses, okay. So I would like to. I like to suggest you please before preparing anything or before going to any conceptual book please read these materials first okay so if you will become strong in these courses then nobody can defeat you 
I guarantee that. Okay. Then, once you finish the TNU courses, then go for Principles of Agronomy by Redin Reddy. This is the Bible of the Agronomy. Why it called as Bible of the Agronomy? Because it contains all the subjects. Okay. Uh, it's uh, introductory agriculture, climate, also soil science part, also irrigation agronomy, weed management. Everything is included in this book. Okay. And you should read this book line by line because the question comes like this. Now, previously also the question is to come from this book and now the statement based and the reasoning based question is to come. So, you have to read this book very uh, openly also very closely you should read this book. Okay. And you should make your note on your own. You should follow the other materials and note as well. But you should have your own note because that is personal. Yes or no? Okay. So, once you are reading this book, and also you are not satisfied with the information then you should go for another book principles agronomy by sr many of the students what they are doing they are following one book okay either principles of agronomy by ready ready or sr i preferred sr ready and ready because i love that book so after reading two books which books you love the most then you should go for from the next time onwards okay once you are reading the conceptual books of agronomy, then you should go for the uh, specific book from the, for example, in exam from irrigation part, many questions to come. Yes or no? So for that reason, you should go for irrigation agronomy by SR Reddy. It's a Colin publisher. It's a very nice book. Very nice book. You should read all the chapters line by line and you should make the note yourself. Got that? So for and also some students prefer the DK Majumdar book as well. Okay. So that is also a good book. I would not like to uh, not suggest. But you can prefer that book. If you have time, you can prefer that book. But this book is enough. I think previous book is more than enough. Okay. Then comes that Irrigation Theory and Practice by A. Mike, Michael Book. This time the question comes from like a Irrigation Theory and Practice written by which in matching it has come. Okay. So the importance of this very use but it's a very large book okay so reading this book is like uh, very difficult so from this book you can read the chapters like uh, our soil and water relationship chapter and plant and water relationship chart that part you can read also soil measuring devices okay soil measuring devices these three chapters you should read then it's enough more than enough okay Got that? Next comes to the weed part. For weed science, okay, you can read weed science basics and applications by TK Das book. Okay, this is one of the fundamental book for weed science. And as it is very huge book, so if you want, you can read the specific chapters. Or if you are more interested in weed science, then you can read a whole book. Okay. So I have prepared already the notes of this book. If you want, I can share with you, but I would like to suggest you if you have time, then read this book. See, our course will start during December. Okay, our JRF course will be starting on December. So, if you are interested in JRF courses in agronomy, then please enroll to that course and we will discuss and we will interact more closely for all these concepts. Okay, so for which sense, I would like to suggest if you have no time, okay, so should go for weed management principles by Oak. This is a little uh, short and crisp book and they have given in consensual in a crisp manner. Okay. Still, if you have not get time, okay, and you are up, you are starting late, then I would like to suggest you go for uh, TNU material. Okay. Well, for angry material also you can go for, no problem. Angry material or TNU material weed management you can go for. Okay. Then comes to the soil science. Okay. There's a book called Textbook of Soil Science by T.D. Bishwan and S.K. Mukherjee, my favorite book. Okay. Why my favorite book? Because if you're reading this book, uh, almost 85% of your syllabus will complete. Okay. And this book is like, uh, oh my God. Okay. Everything is included. Everything is given. Okay. For our uh, uh, soil chemistry, soil physics, everything is included and very nice way. 
okay very nice to they have explained and also you will get directly question from this book okay then if you are if you are reading this book then enough if not i will give you one another easy book that is textbook of soil science by r k mehra so this book is icer published book okay so you can understand the importance of this book so this book uh, has uh, i have read this book so they have simplified okay they uh, they have explained very simplification okay you can see the simplification of this book okay for any reason they have very simply they have explained very well okay so that is the uh, importance of this book so if you are uh, in the basics of the soil science then i would like to prefer you should prefer this book test was by rk mehra okay if this is available in flipkart or amazon as well okay then if you want to go a little more depth in the soil science then i would suggest soil fertility and fertilizers okay by tisdale and nelson book okay so this is one of the most important book most of the people uh, prefer but in msc if you are going to if you are, if you want going to if you want to go to little depth then you should prefer this book okay now we completed the concepts and agronomy our irrigation part and as well as wood science and our soil science so uh, within that almost 80 percent is completed for statistics no need to go for uh, preparing any extra books it will be time consuming so i'd like to suggest go for tnu materials or agro materials that is more than enough also for rest of the like uh, our metrology or dry land you should prefer the Material that is more than enough. Okay, okay. So suppose if you are uh, starting in the early, then you should prefer all these books. If you are starting late, like two to three months before, then I would like to suggest Agronomy Facts for Competition. Okay, by Minancia, because in this book they have um, given all the concepts in a crisp manner, so you'll get only facts. Okay, which will be helpful for the competition. Okay, that's not a problem. Only the concepts is important, right? Then for practicing one-liner, agronomy treatise would be far better than the other books. But in these books, there are some errors. Okay, so for that reason, uh, you should read the conceptual books first, like ready, ready or SRT, so that you will be uh, getting power to correct this book. Okay, so once you are correcting this book, then you will think that you, you are uh, you are confident for the any exam. Okay, next is Agronomy Wizard. Okay, so this book is written by one of my sir, the Jagdish Sena. Okay, so uh, they have uh, explained very well agronomy concepts. Okay, in a crisp manner. So if you are starting late, then then you can prefer this book, which will helpful for you to get ready for the exam. Okay, so if you are preparing for any exam, JRF, SRF, NET, or SAUCET, then you can prefer this book. Okay, I will highly suggest this book. <laughs> Next is, okay, so suppose if you are in third year, okay, and you are interested in the JRF agronomy or any subject, okay, so I'd like to, pref I would like to suggest you should go for reading general agriculture books like Arun Katan, Nimra Shunda, Sir Kantua, all these books, okay, why? because for uh, for preparing the battle okay you should practice first yes or no for preparing a main battle you should practice on your own first so daily practicing will help you to go for the main battle for example you should start the reading practice so from these books you should start the reading practice and tnu courses as well okay so fundamentals of agriculture volume 1 and volume 2 by orin katan Okay, so volume one, our agronomy soil science part is included, and in volume two, ecology and environment. These three chapters you should read more clearly. Okay, and I would like to also suggest you go for genetics and plant breeding as well. So if you are also going to prepare for any exam like competitive exam, then you should read all the chapters line by line. Okay, then Imra Sunda, a complete book for agriculture, everyone's favorite. And there is no one who doesn't know this book and doesn't have this book, okay? Because in every exam, question is used to come and students love the one-liners, okay? And they want to just complete all the uh, subjects, okay, in one book, 
Okay, so this is one of the concise book I have seen. Also, uh, objective part is also there in this book. So you can prefer both uh, concept and as well as objective book. Next is for preparing the multiple choice questions. Okay, I have found this book in the online. That is conceptual objectives economy. Okay, so this is written by Anamika Burma, and she has uh, written that she has collected in the like uh, the trending type of question like in the trending format of question because nt has given you the reasoning statements assertion reasoning so this type of question uh, she has enlisted and for your better preparation okay so if you are preparing for jrf srf sto sau phd ls net then this book will help you a lot okay so i'd like to suggest this book you can go you can go and uh, purchase this book from the Flipkart or Amazon. Okay. Next is Agronomy at a Glance. Okay. Manuel Mundra. Okay. So they have uh, two volume. One is Basic and Applied Fundamentals. Means you will get this all the details of agronomy from fundamental basics, and you can practice the objective of fundamentals as well. Okay. So you will read one chapter from this, and you will practice the objective in the volume two. Okay. So this will quicken uh, your uh, preparation next is objective agriculture by sr conta i love this book believe me i love this book why because uh, i have given many exams in my life and i got direct question from this book okay so if you are preparing for any state exams or any state entrances or any like uh, government exams or central exams you should read this book and you should practice all the questions from this book highly suggested okay so you should purchase this book you should see some books you must and should have like uh, ready ready or srd one book from weed management one book from soil science one book and also in general agriculture you should have nimra sunda objective agriculture wood katan book these books you should have with you okay Next is Agri Wizard. Okay, in this book also uh, they have enlisted from many uh, departments. Okay, all the departments are covered: horticulture, soils, and agronomy. In agronomy, they have given more more than 200, 1200 questions. Okay, so uh, these are all big because uh, these are questions, uh, these are based on old pattern. So just I will suggest that just practice those questions. That's it. Okay. Okay. So that's all for today's uh, class. So. There are other books as well. I didn't prefer, and uh, like uh, Soil Science by D.K. Das. Some some of the uh, senior or junior they like to prefer these books, but I don't like uh, because as my concepts are cleared in the three year courses by reading the TNU courses, so I'd like to prefer go for little higher version. Okay, so suppose if you are not basic your your clear is not basic then you should go for decay that book i would like to suggest so if you are preparing for soil science as well you can uh, read the book like uh, i triple s okay and if you are preparing for agronomy and if you have more time then you can read this book no problem okay and for other like a uh, dry land and all there are some specific books but i think that uh, that is not required in the ms11 okay so if you have time then you can go for searching these books okay in library these books will be available okay dry land agronomy so you can read those books and if you have not uh, subscribed to our channel yet then i would like to suggest please subscribe to our channel because this type of interesting concepts will come further okay so this is just started with the list of books then i would like i would come with some new concepts of agronomy okay so that it will be helpful for you to prepare your preparation very easy okay and if you have liked the video then please share to your friends and also like the videos as well and if you are interested to join with me then we'll meet in the december okay thank you guys thanks for your time